Hey guys, and welcome back to Elboy Carson. And boy, this hair is getting long. My sweet lord, lord of lords. All right, guys, I got some amazing news to tell you. We are doing it. We have only 55,000 views more until I purchase the RPC Studio high quality premium red and black suit. So we just hit 345,000 views. That means once I review the homemade suit, we are going to click that purchase button for Landon's Miguel O'Hara 2099 suit. And guys, that suit is looking sexier than ever. So I hope you're excited. And I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna chicken out because you guys have been spamming my channel and watching that suit reveal video for us to be able to reach that high in view count. So I guess we'll find out. I'm not letting you down. As for the upgraded homemade suit video, I bought a ton of things and we are doing a complete makeover, an improved makeover for this suit. So we got the shoes, we got the sweatpants and the sweatshirt, and we only need two more things that are arriving on Monday for us to be able to review it. But guys, it's looking really, really good. It's going to look as charming as the homemade suit we used all those years back, but in a modern, fresh, improved way. So it's coming. And for this homemade suit, Landon, Leia, and I, we're getting our hands dirty. We are actually doing a lot of the painting process ourselves. It's going to look way cooler and kind of bring a more homemade vibe to the suit. And almost everything is in this box for now. Okay, I can't do this anymore. Anyway, another thing that I wanted to get out of the way. Guys, I am by no means a famous, popular, renowned celebrity, okay? But recently, I have been just getting a ton of message requests on my Instagram. There's this kid that, I probably shouldn't say his name, but there's this kid that literally wanted my attention so badly that he created like five to six different Instagram accounts. And wanting me to reply to him. Guys, I want to let you know that if you want a cameo scene, I am so down to help you guys. It's totally down. But you guys also have to know that I'm a very, very busy person and I have a life outside of YouTube, outside of filmmaking. And I would really love to enjoy that life. So if I don't respond to you lightning quick, then that doesn't mean I am ignoring you. That just means I really need to take my time to respond. Just wanted to let you know, but I am always there for you and always willing to answer your questions and help you out in your Spider-Man fan films. All right, so the reason why you clicked into this video is because we are going to react to, in my opinion, a really, really amazing Spider-Man fan film trailer. About a month ago, I was approached by this YouTube channel called CDM Productions. And I think it's ran by this guy named Colin. He's about my age, he's 20 years old, and he just has this fiery, burning passion of realization that he wants to fulfill his dreams as a filmmaker. So that's something that I truly, truly cherish and respect. And he was asking if I could help promote his YouTube channel and his upcoming Spider-Man fan film, Spider-Man Training Day, because he said that it's gonna be an unforgettable fan film. That's gonna be way better than Spider-Man Lotus. Just kidding, I said that, but I really do think that's the case. So for this fan film, Spider-Man Training Day, this is no longer a fan film directed by a kid. This is a guy in his 20s and a hardworking filmmaker who has a lot of gear, a lot of resources and actors to work with. So you're going to instantly see a bump in quality. And Colin actually sent me a little description talking about the background information about this film. So let's enjoy it together. So this is gonna be a 2000s film. It's also a community film. There's a wide range of people from behind and in front. And I wanted to do that because Spider-Man is a community hero. And in the film, I wanted to emphasize the friendly neighborhood aspect of him. It's a grounded version similar to Unbreakable and Invincible in terms of taking colorful superheroes and putting them in our world. Film also follows Pete on his first day and a unique aspect is that the way his past unfolds and how he chooses to handle it. He feels that Peter is a failure and hides behind his new identity of Spider-Man because he wears the mask 90% of the movie. He uses Spider-Man as an escape until he realizes that it can be more than that. 
So this is really awesome because I also made a Spider-Man fan film um, diving into Spider-Man's first fight ever. So I made up a character named Thurnus who is well trained in the martial arts and Spider-Man has a really, really epic fight scene with him. You guys should totally go check it out, Spider-Man First Stand. But I really like how this is going to be focused a lot more on Spider-Man and a little less on Peter Parker, which can be pretty surprising because in the movies, it's very clear balance between Spider-Man and Peter Parker. And I would say most times it is Peter Parker's life. So seeing a complete opposite of that gets me really excited and I wanna see what that's like. So if you guys are excited, go follow CDM Visuals. Let's put on some AirPods and enjoy this trailer. All right, everybody. So right now we're at CDM Visuals YouTube channel and he only has 245 subscribers left until he reaches the 1000 subscriber mark. So keep pushing it, man. Yeah, that was a terrible voice crack. But I think that with the release of this film, he's definitely going places. And from the thumbnail, of this trailer it already looks super amazing so um oh guys look there's my there's my video let's get it to 400,000 subscribers so i can buy a really expensive suit to review to you guys but anyway three two one go the following review has been approved for all audiences even two-year-olds oh wow yeah this is filmed in a very very high-end camera oh my goodness Bro, did you use, like, rain machines? Because this is high-end as heck. Okay, so we see this masked person. Um, <gasps> he could be Spider-Man. It looks like he's wearing a, a lower mask based on the characters from Marvel. Oh, this is a, already a super good presentation. With what I did. Beautiful. I managed to hurt a lot of people. The ones closest to me. Friends. Family. Yeah, he just got beaten up. Or been in a fight. Oh my goodness. Oh, he, he still has his glasses on. So that means this is before the bite. Coming soon. In theaters. In 4D. There's chaos. Whoa. That Destruction. looks like Batman villains, not Evil. gonna lie. Oh, cool. Oh, cool, the bullet hole. Written and directed by Colin MCC. Mac? Mac? No one stop it. Yo, okay. I was waiting for some VFX swinging scenes. I will. That looks CGI. Not sure whose eyes it is. Whoa. They sacrificed the suit for this film. That means it's a high budget film. Cool. Oh, the lighting is great, man. Woo! Whoa. These villains are creeping me out in a good way. Oh, cool. <laughs> Goblin. I think Goblin's in this. I could hear his laugh. Spider Man train today. 2023. Okay, good, good. That means we'll be able to see it within. Within four months. All right, Colin, you and your team outdid yourself there. I think myself and all my fans are dying to watch this fan film, including all of your fans and whoever is watching this trailer as well. This is definitely not a one man army, like one guy doing the, the camera shot and the lighting. And this definitely looks like a team effort. You guys do it with so much quality. For example, the lighting, beautiful. It's well lit when it needs to be. And the rain effect is really, really convincing. I don't know if it's real rain or CGI or a little bit of everything, but looks real. Also, you did something that I always strive to do which is to get the sound effects as movie accurate as possible. So I did not hear any hiccups. I did not hear any lack of volume or an over amount of volume in any way. And I think it's just nice and perfect. So that means I feel like I was watching something Hollywood for sure. I'm not sure how much the budget is, but my, my dude. Something I realized in the trailer, how there is a narration by Peter Parker saying that being Spider-Man is causing a lot of hurt um, to the people around him, friends and family. So that really shows that Peter Parker is just discovering the sacrifices and the price he needs to pay to be Spider-Man. 
and that's really cool and I hope that we get a really fully fledged out character and different characters to make their story arc full and satisfying. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of villains in this film. Uh, we got a lot of people with really cool Japanese masks and uh, two people together ganging up and fighting Spider-Man. And Colin has actually sent me a little fight scene clip to, to show me and, and ask me for my opinion. And the scene looked amazing. There's really, really powerful sound effects and just really cool action that Spider-Man Lotus could never deliver. Suit yourselves. <laughs> I am super, super pumped for you, and it looks like you and your team are having a blast making this film. I can totally see, because if the crew is happy, then the film quality would be improved compared to if it's not. I am so excited to watch the final product when it comes out, whenever it comes out, hopefully it doesn't take a long time, and hopefully even ask you for some help on visual effects or opening titles or, or any filming advice, because I have so much that I can learn from you. I know it. Hope you guys like this video. Go give Colin a subscribe to his channel as well as spread the word because this is going to take over the Spider-Man fan film community. All right, I love you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and may the force be with you always.